hundreds of thousands of Mainers waiting for power to be destroyed throughout the state after that storm. Marlia Clipston is live in Bangor tonight. She has the latest on what we heard from both those power companies today. Marlia? Yeah, there's power outages across the state, and officials have been reporting, and they've been working. We actually had CMP crews right behind us. We spoke with officials of both companies earlier. CMP says they have more than 3,000 reports of fallen trees and downed branches, and it's that damage that both companies say they have been assessing today and what makes getting power restored harder in many cases. We prioritize based on obviously critical care facilities or other critical facilities, but then it's really about, you know, if I can, if I can fix one outage and turn a thousand customers on, that's going to be my focus versus fixing one outage and turning 10 customers on. As patience runs out, please feel free to reach out to us. Let us know what's going on and we'll do our very best to address it. There are parts of the state we simply cannot access yet. So I think different parts of the state are probably looking at different timelines, uh, areas where we are have access to. Um, you'll see our crews out there restoring power now. Uh, that is probably a lot closer timeline or, or near maybe one, maybe two days from now uh, for some um, in the more uh, uh, interior parts of the state, uh, areas where there is more significant flooding, uh, that is just going to take more time, and it's hard to really put a, put a timeline on that at this point. So both CMP and Verson said they will have a better idea over the next couple of days of more specific respiration timelines, and we will continue to report on this.